So we're based in the Calder Valley, the upper Calder Valley, that's been subject to pretty bad flooding a number of times. Water levels a metre, metre and a half high, fences being knocked down, people's cars being completely ruined, people's businesses really put under a lot of pressure. Thousands of people were displaced from their homes. And it, it must be awful, it must be really difficult. We were aware of Flood Network, which is a grassroots initiative to uh, install a crowdsourced network of flood sensors. One of the guys from Flood Network, who are based out of Oxford, came up to Hebden Bridge a number of years ago and installed a sensor at the town hall that was left there for a while. But unfortunately at the time it was using a traditional wireless technology which only has a range of about 50 metres. So if you wanted to deploy river level sensors where we are across an area of many miles, then you would need to have lots of gateways, lots of base stations, and that's not very practical. That's going to be costly, it's going to be time consuming to install it. But more recently, the Flood Network announced that they were going to be supporting the Things Network, which is based on LoRaWAN, where uh, in an urban area you can uh, achieve a range of a few kilometres. Uh, in line of sight, you can achieve up to 15 kilometres. So suddenly, uh, the Flood Network became a much, much more compelling proposition uh, because it meant that we could install one gateway and with that single gateway um, we could serve an area uh, far greater uh, than we could with a traditional wireless system. We've made a Things Network gateway available for Calderdale. We actually did this using an off-the-shelf concentrator board and pairing it with a Raspberry Pi Model 3 and an open source software. We could have bought something off the shelf, but the reason that we went down this route is that it gave us an opportunity to learn more about LoRaWAN and, and the internals of the gateway. So we have two LoRaWAN gateways, um, one based here at the workshop, and then we have one in the centre of Hebden Bridge as well. So with those two, that gives us a reasonable amount of coverage. So at the present time, we have one river level sensor installed here, which is just outside the building. This is using the legacy flood network radio technology, so it can only be positioned up to 50 metres away from the gateway that's connected to the broadband. That's working great, so we can go on to map.flood.network and see the pretty much real-time river level. It's updated every 15 minutes. We also have a prototype of the next generation flood network sensor that incorporates LoRa technology. We've tested that connecting to uh, the LoRaWAN gateway here and we've successfully received messages from that sensor so we've proven that that works. We'd like to do a little bit more testing with this following which we plan to buy maybe four or five of them to install them at locations that would provide data that's useful to people and that generates real benefit. That would be great, you know, and maybe have the community take responsibility. So say if someone lives near a river and they're happy to have a sensor installed near to their house and they say once a year they'll go and change the battery, great. So we've had a great reaction from members of the local community and in fact the local hackerspace in Hebden Bridge, Bridge Rectifier, Members there are very keen to get involved in deploying these sensors and maybe even actually organising workshops where people can come along and get involved in their construction and then adopt a sensor, making sure that it's okay, that it's connected to the LoRaWAN network and that uh, when the time comes that the batteries get replaced. I think it's important for the community to be involved. It's all well and good the environment agency or the council or like a large organisation saying don't worry we've got, we've got the matters in hand but if the community can make a difference then I think it's worth it. People can see that this is a real tangible application for LoRaWAN and the Things Network enabling people to be better informed about river levels and the potential for flooding. It might give people a better chance of response even if it's an extra 15 minutes or half an hour it's got to be worth it.